Hi guys! So I just created this curl look for you and I'm also entering it in the Seabree Spring Roll Curl Contest. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is a Philips Beauty Geometrics Curling Iron which is like 8 in 1 or something. I'm also using a comb with a rat tail on the end, a couple of Kirby grip, a hairband, maybe two, I can't remember, some heat protecting styling spray, some gel spray, and some clay. So that's all I'm using. I hope you enjoy. I'm detangling my hair by combing it through and I'm adding VO5 heat protectant spray, which is also a styling spray. And I'm just making sure that it's spritzed all over my hair and then just run my fingers through to make sure it's all even and then comb it out again. <laughs> now I'm sectioning off the crown of my head. So that's the top hair section. Tie it up and then tie up the rest of your hair so it doesn't get in your way because we'll be working with the crown first. I thought I'd show you guys CB this because, because Jen, Jen, I've watched some of your CB do a days and I love them. And I've noticed you've been trying dry shampoos because you guys are trying to formulate one. This is a very well known UK product and us lot here really like this stuff and I hear it's really popular. And there's three scents as well there's blush. There's tropical, there's tropical and there's normal. And so, so yes, yes try, and try and check this out as well because, because if you want you more want UK more people UK to buy Cebu, try and beat, try and beat this. this. So now I'm just sectioning off one, a third of the crown of my head and I'm just curling it horizontally to my head. Slide it off and then I'm recoiling it with my hands and pinning it as if a roller was there. And then I'm just doing the same thing with the other half of that section. Recoiling it again and pinning it with a Kirby grip. Now I'm taking the mid third section and I'm going to do the same thing. So coiling it horizontally with the curling tongs. And then I messed up a bit here. <laughs> so it kind of cooled the hair a bit but hopefully yours won't. And so rolling it up as if it was in a roller and pin it, pinning it down. I'm just reheating it with my curling tongue since I cooled it. And then just the last section which is my fringe or my bangs. Making sure that it's really hot. And then same thing, coiling it back and pinning it into a pin curl. So I've sectioned my hair into two halves. And I'm just starting with one half and now I'm curling vertically with the curling tongue. So placing it into the hair, pull it out a bit, curl it away from the head, release and do the same thing. And then release and coil it again. And release. Oh, I think I got caught. Release to almost the end so you left, leave a bit of hair out at the end and then coil it all the way to the top. And then hold for 8 to 10 seconds I think. My curling tongs are still heating up at this point so wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Dooby doo! And then release and it, and it gives a really nice spiral curl. And then doing the next sections just all horizontal curls so taking horizontal sections sorry vertical why am I saying horizontal? vertical sections and then curling vertically not horizontally silly ling and I'm going a bit fast now just fast forwarding through leaving the ends out as you can see so it looks a bit more natural and release release downwards keeps the curl in as you let it out of the curling tongue so just spin and then twist up all the way and you can also pin your hair back like I have the front sections if you want to see what you're doing I like this because it does come with detachable colours so I've got a smaller one here 
which I think is maybe about half an inch or three quarters of an inch. And it also comes with this, which is a crimper. And you can turn the plates inside out and it becomes a straightener too. Which is pretty cool. I got this at a Christmas present a few years ago, so you probably can't find it now. Just release it downwards. So it stays in that spiral. I'm just going to pick this up. It's all the hands not curled. Let's do the same. I really love sitting with my hair curler. So as you can see, I'm just doing the front section of my hair now. I'm just doing the same thing, so vertical section of about one inch. It depends how thick your hair is to how much you want to use. Thinner sections are easier to curl and you don't have to hold it for so long and they will stay better. But the heat styling spray that we used at the beginning should hold the curl as it's holding mine. So there we go, we've got another spiral curl. And these are really cute ringlet curls. They're not tight ringlets, but they're pretty perfect. So you can see me rambling on here, but the video would take too long if I'd kept all this rambling in and at normal speed as well. So it is sped up, but I will be making a video of all my ramblings and post it on my other channel, so check that out. Okay, so just to preserve this, what I'm going to do is I'm taking some BO5 gel spray. This is mega hold control because I need a lot of hold. I'm just going to lightly spritz that onto my curls and then just sort of hold them. Yeah. So after releasing them, you can release the other side and I'm just clipping the side of curls that I've done forward so I don't get messed up and then I'm just doing the same thing repeat on the other side but curling away from your face so in the opposite direction just exactly the same as you can see no difference and then just release downwards again and then the next section comb it through if you want a need to curl but you don't have to and as your curling tongue heats to its full heat then you don't have to hold it there too long but you can if you want to to make it hold more and as you're curling the curls on the top of your head should be cooling in that position so they should also come out with a curl which should be nice so again just spraying that and then scrunching a little bit the next thing I'm going to do is take down these so I'm just removing the curl curvy grips and then letting down the curls that have formed and they'll give a little bit of volume because they're horizontal not vertical so as you can see it's a little bit of a mess now but we will fix that so <laughs> just watch, find your parting and make sure it's still there the way you like it. Combing out your fringe or bangs. What I'm going to do is take my Sebastian crude clay, which has been renamed to craft clay and it's got new packaging. And I haven't seen it and I haven't tried it, but I think it's the same. And I've just done a review on this, so check that out if you want to. I'll put a link in the description box quite a lot on my fingertip. See me do this, do clay, because I really like hair clay. It's a good way of holding and fixing without that stickiness of gel or spray. So I quite put my hand and I'm just going to rub it in quite a lot. I'm just going to run it through and scrunch it into my hair. So just fast forwarding again, you can see I'm scrunching the clay through my hair. See how voluminous it is? 
So now I'm just going to split this section in half. I'm just going to twist it around each other like this. And release. Let's pull it apart a little bit. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So just twisting it, section it in half first and twisting it around each other and then rubbing the ends with a bit of clay left in your hands and then pulling it apart a bit. So this is my curls look. I'm going to finish it off with a headband. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, good luck to everyone else that, who's entering the contest and I shall see you soon. Bye! Toffee loves you! Mwah!